Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making a teriyaki chicken bowl with just five ingredients. But not only is it made with just five ingredients, it's also low in carbs, low in calories, and full of protein. All right guys, but before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel for more videos just like this. And don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. So the first thing you wanna do is throw your frozen cauli rice in the microwave because it does take about five minutes to cook. I do have a video where I teach you how to make the perfect cauli rice that's nice and fluffy. So I'll leave that linked in the description below. But before we move on, I'm gonna toss these in the microwave so they can start cooking. So while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and marinate our chicken. Now you can use chicken thighs, breast, literally any type of chicken that you prefer. We're doing thighs. They are just nice and juicy. And we're gonna marinate it with a low carb teriyaki sauce. Now you can make a homemade version, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this video. This is dinner with just five ingredients. So this is just a low carb paleo teriyaki sauce, which I will leave linked in the description below so you guys know exactly what I'm using to marinate this chicken. Now the seasonings are optional because the sauce has a lot of flavor, but I am gonna go ahead and season it. You wanna season it with whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper, a little salt, some onion powder, garlic powder. If you like a little bit of that spice, then you do wanna add maybe some chili flakes. That's what I'm gonna be adding. I'm just gonna add in, this is our garlic powder and onion powder. I just like my chicken to be well seasoned. This doesn't have any salt, so it's just more flavor. A little ginger, a little ginger action. Now, if you don't use any seasonings, don't worry, your food is still gonna taste good because I'm telling you the sauce in itself has a lot of flavor. I just love heavily seasoning my food. And we're still gonna add a little pinch of salt just because it is a lot of chicken. So we're gonna give it a good mix and we're gonna let it marinate while we cook up our rice. Okay, now the trick to fluffy rice is to drain all the liquid from the cauliflower. So, since this just came out of the microwave, you wanna grab like a kitchen towel or something to squeeze it out. And now we're just going to squeeze out all the excess liquid. So we're gonna do that for both and then we will move on to cooking our rice. Now the rice cooks a lot quicker than the chicken, so we're gonna start by cooking our chicken now so that way it's fully cooked through. And then when we make our rice, it'll still be nice and hot for us to serve and then eat. Just a little, little avocado oil. All right, our oil seems nice and hot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cook it until it gets a nice golden brown color. And then we're gonna go ahead and cook it pretty much all the way through before we start our rice. And you wanna cook this at, I would say about a medium heat. Because of the teriyaki sauce, it, if you have the heat on too high, it can burn. My rule of thumb is just kind of five minutes on each side tends to work. Nice golden brown, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna move this over so that we can get started on our fluffy rice. Now we're making a fried rice, guys, with these five ingredients, okay? If you've been living a low carb lifestyle and you have cooked cauli rice before, then you know that you need a lot of cauliflower to make like a big batch of it. So to add bulk, I'm gonna show you my trick, which I have right here. Just, it's one of those things where you're just gonna have to trust the process. So we're gonna do it on our little wok. We are going to add in a little oil and you're gonna wanna make this. I'm telling you right now, this is definitely one of those meals that not only is it so easy to make, not only is it low in carbs and calories, but guys, it is so delicious. You have to try it. So we're gonna toss in our drained cauliflower. This will save you a lot of time. To drain it beforehand is gonna save you a lot of time. Trust me, I've made cauliflower rice, I can't tell you how many times, and you definitely don't wanna skip out on that part. But it's gonna, it lends to like a really fluffy rice. Like a lot of you might think, uh, I've made cauli rice and it turns out all mushy. It turns out mushy because it has too much water, too much liquid. But as you can tell, like I literally just threw this in and look it, do you see that? Like this is not going to be mushy whatsoever. It looks nice and fluffy. Now the secret ingredient here is our coleslaw mix. Now hear me out on this. This is going to add bulk. So it's gonna make it just a lot more, especially if you have a big family, you are gonna wanna do this. 
We're just gonna toss this in together. And we're gonna use the same seasonings just because, you know, we have them for our chicken, so might as well use them for our rice. It's a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, powdered ginger, and then of course some salt and pepper. Okay, so now we're making a little well right in the middle, just like this. And we're gonna add just a little oil and we're gonna crack our eggs. Crack our two eggs right in the middle. You wanna cook that all the way through before you mix it in. That's another trick. If you mix it in right now, it will make everything mushy. So let's just fully cook it through right here in the middle. I do have some toasted sesame oil, so I'm gonna add some right here to our egg. Okay, so at this point, the egg is probably cooked about three fourths of the way. This is when you can mix it. You just want it to be fluffy because if it's still really wet, then it's not gonna mix in well. So at this point, we can go ahead and mix it in. And of course, if you have tamari, soy sauce, guys, all of that is just going to add to your fried rice, okay? Okay, and this is fully cooked through. Now let me show you how I put this together. All right guys, so I wanna take a moment to give FitTrack a special thank you for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, the FitTrack Dara Scale is what I use. I've been using it for over a year. I love it because it's connected to an app on my phone. So of course, it not only gives you a very accurate reading of your weight, but it breaks down how much water is in your body, your muscle mass, your obviously fat, percentage and it even gives you a bone mass so like my bone mass is 7.9 pounds and on top of all that i can keep track of how much water i'm drinking i'm always struggling to drink water so that's one of the things that i try to track for sure you can also track your calories the actual food that you're eating and on top of that they also have workout plans so like if you wanted to do like a little workout plan they have different options available the scale is already on sale on the website website, but if you use low carb love at checkout, it'll give you an additional 20% off on top of the already sale price. So I'll go ahead and leave the link and my discount code in the description below. Let's go ahead and assemble our teriyaki chicken bowl. Now to cut our chicken, we are going to get a separate little cutting board just to keep things, you know, a little sanitary. At this point, you can cube it, you can slice it, whatever you prefer is what you're going to do at this point. I like mine sliced. I just I don't know, this is just my personal preference. It reminds me of going to my favorite Chinese food restaurant. They used to do teriyaki chicken with that little sauce on the top, guys, what? All right, so our chicken is nicely sliced at an angle to give it that professional look. And for the bowl, guys, I don't know what it is about a wooden bowl. I love eating my salads in this and any type of bowl. If I'm making a burger bowl, a taco bowl, and in this case, a teriyaki chicken bowl, we are using our wooden bowl. Now, I'll leave these linked in the description below. I probably picked them up on Amazon. But the first thing we're gonna do is toss in our rice. And this is definitely a huge bowl. This is shareable. Add your chicken. So we have our fried rice under. We have our teriyaki chicken on top. I found some green onions. So this is just for aesthetic purposes. Of course, if you have it, you'll wanna add it. If you have sriracha soy sauce, tamari. I like tamari only because it's gluten-free and it won't mess up my stomach, but you can use whatever your little heart desires. So we're gonna top this with some green onion. Okay, then we have a little sesame seeds. Now these are all just, again, these are all optional. The five ingredients that we use for this are obviously necessary <laughs> to put this together. So this is fully done. I'm gonna, I'm like a saucy girl. I love extra sauce. So I'm just gonna throw some additional teriyaki sauce drizzled right on top. Might even throw a little sriracha. Please, let's take a look and appreciate this dinner. It's budget friendly, it's full of protein, it's low in carbs and low in calories. Like, you can't ask for much more in a dinner that you are going to enjoy because it is so full of flavor. Okay, so at this point, you can add sriracha, you can add a chili oil, whatever you have on hand and you want, you can definitely add. But guys, it tastes delicious just as is. So we are gonna go in for the perfect bite with a little bit of everything, including some saucy sauce. Mm. The rice is nice and fluffy. 
I love the crunch that the coleslaw adds to it. I feel like it adds a texture that the cauli rice all by itself doesn't have. It also adds bulk, so it's gonna be a much bigger portion than if you just use the cauli rice all by itself. And then the chicken was cooked to perfection. I love it to get that nice char. If you don't, then obviously cook it on a lower heat, but I just feel like it adds, again, it adds flavor, it adds texture. And overall, this is exactly how I like my bowl. I know you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything linked in the description below. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos just like this. And we are almost at a million subscribers, so don't forget to share the channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that are just trying to make healthier choices in their life. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.